most valuable commodity I know of is information. Wouldn't you agree? Get dressed, I'll show you my charts. I couldn't agree with old Gordon Gecko more. What's up everyone, Ed Jeanette here, your favorite real estate agent here in Savannah, Georgia. And it is that time again to do the monthly update for the real estate market here in Savannah, Georgia. With your December real estate update, the most important thing that I can do is keep you informed and educated on what's going on in the real estate market. So we're gonna go through some facts and figures and I've got some slides to show you. Uh, I do this every month and it's just to give you a deep dive into what's going on with the real estate market so you know the facts. As I said before, nothing but the facts, ma'am. All right, the first thing is median home price. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the median and average. I'm just gonna say home price because everything we do is median and I've got another uh, video that I made that explains the difference between median and average. And you can watch that one. I'll put a link in the description or in below or somewhere. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get a link so you can see it. But anyway, the sales price in Savannah, Georgia has actually gone up from 306 to $312,000, which is pretty, pretty amazing because you think everything's slowing down, interest rates have gone up, but the actual price of the homes, average price or median price has gone up, okay? Then the second thing is the price per square foot. The price per square foot has gone down, okay? Now, how that figures into it is that probably people are buying bigger houses. So the price per square foot on average, or I, I'm sorry, the median price per square foot is $169 per square foot it went down to 165 for the month of November. Now the days on market, which is real important, that just shows you how, how long properties have been sitting on the market for sale, um, has kind of stayed the same. It went from 34 to 35, all right? Now, to put this in perspective, a few years ago, it was as high as 80 to 90 days. So 30, 35 is still pretty good. So houses are still selling relatively quickly. Okay, on to the next slide. And this is the big one. There has been a huge revision from last month, okay? And the revision took place because about three months ago, two months ago maybe, I emailed the people who put out the statistics and I noticed that the number of homes for sale in Chatham County were way off, okay? Um, I couldn't figure out what it was or what the number was, but I emailed them, we emailed back and forth, and they finally changed it. So the, the huge revision was last month, the number of homes for sale they reported was 6,272. Well, that number is down to 2,541. That's the real number. So this is a big psychological change because if you think there are 6,272 homes on the market, that's a lot of homes in Savannah. Or, and it's not just Savannah, it's, it's Savannah, uh, Chatham County, Bryan County, uh, uh, Effingham. But it, I mean, our, F, our, our, our MLS is a big MLS, but this is, th that's a huge number, 6,272 homes for sale. Now the real number, like I said, is 2,541. That psychologically you think, oh wow, that's a lot less homes for sale. So the market, the market's actually doing better than we thought. So th th that, that's a huge deal and, I, and I, I hope everybody gets that point. Now the next one that this affects is the month supply. Your month supply of homes is how many homes there are on the market right now that if there were no more new homes put on the market, how many months it would take to buy that inventory up, all right? Well, last month, it was 6.3 months supply. Well, because of the number of homes for sale has been revised, that number has dropped to 2.6. And 2.6 months supply is still very low. But our market in Savannah is, is amazingly uh, steady, um, healthy. Uh, but these numbers that we were reporting they were just flat out wrong and, and made the market look a lot worse than it really is. So that's good news, we got it straightened out and the market does look great. Now the next thing is we have new listings and that this, this shows you how many new listings have been put on the market and you can see from the graph that there are less and less people actively trying to sell their house. All right, the next one is closed sales. Now this is important because this is the number of actual homes that sold, so that, that closed. You can see it dropped from 941 down to 610 and that's a big drop, all right? Um, it has been lower, okay? It was, uh, it was below 600, what does it say there? It looks like one, two, three, four, four or five times since 2017, all right? Now the next one, this is pending sales. Now, pending sales, this is important because these pending sales are next month's sales. Um, and when I say next month, I mean December sales and January sales. This is kind of like the crystal ball where you can see, okay, if next month, 
uh, is, uh, is gonna be slow, this number is showing you that it's gonna be slow, okay? All right, then you've got the showings per pending. And what the showings per pending tells you is that this is the number of showings every listing got before they got a contract, okay? The pending sales, all right? So it took an average here, of, sorry, the median number of, of, of showings per listed contract, under contract, it, they, had, they had seven showings, okay? So showings are extremely important. And if we go down here to the next slide, you'll see that they get an average of 3.4 showings per listing, okay? Again, that's down. So the moral of the story with these two, these two slides is that you wanna make sure if you're listing your house that it's ready to sell and looks good when you show it because you're not gonna get a lot of showings, all right? All right, well, that's it. That's the wrap up for the November real estate numbers here in Savannah. I, I hope you learned something. I will have a PDF. If you want a PDF, message me. I can give you a PDF of all these slides. But this is really, really important that you understand these because this, this, uh, this is the foundation of what you're gonna do making a decision going forward on the biggest purchase of your life. I mean, if you're gonna buy a two, three, four, five hundred thousand, two million dollar house, it's a pretty big purchase and I want you to be informed and, and know everything you can about the real estate market. So if you have any questions, message me, call me 912-844-9000. But as always, thanks for watching.